Hi, this video tutorial I will cover join method. Here I have defined the class display number thread which extends thread class. This class overrides run method and provide implementation. Inside main method, I have created display number thread 1, display number thread 2 and display number thread 3. Then I am starting display number thread 1 and called join method of display number thread 1 and started display number thread 2 and display number thread 3. Once join method is called on display number thread 1, these two threads will wait till display number thread 1 finishes the task. Once display number thread 1 finishes the task, these two thread will execute and finishes the task related to display number thread 2 and display number thread 3. Display number thread 1 name is thread iPhone 0. Display number thread 2 name is thread iPhone 1. Display number thread 3 name is thread iPhone 2. From this output we can see after display number thread 1 completes its task, then only display number thread 2 and display number thread 3 starts executing because uh, join method is called on display number thread 1. There are three join methods are there. Here you can see. I will run this program and show you the output. Here you can see the output. You can see display number thread 1 finishes the task first, then only display number thread 2 and display number thread 3 starts executing because join method is called on display number thread 1. And this is about join method and thanks for watching.